morning, Stevie Daily Shaver. This morning, guess what I'm playing with? I'm so excited! <laughs> Look at this, a 3D printed razor. I'm hoping that this is in production this year. It's getting very, very, very close, very close indeed. Real men shave, real men shave their faces, real men shave. The faces. Now I have other single edges. Of course, you've got your one blade, your single edge injector. The one that it's most like, and they've both got blades in them, is it's most like the R41. Whereas the R41 is incredibly aggressive to get BBS. I've done one sh there you go. Put down the wrong one. <laughs> when you hold my handles, they both feel the same. Easy peasy done. Okay. The thing about this, however, it is smooth, so smooth. And because it has these channels of the open cone, it does. and if you can see light through the bottom, it's because under here, it has a path for the water to keep the blade clean and keep hairs and things to allow more of the cutting edge for more of a cut now. Not aggressive, but, but, but let me get into my today's shave. Today, I'm going the Amiga Bore. Why? Well, I like, I like this Amiga Bore. The more I use it, the better it gets. Uh, don't knock a bore till you've used it for three months. And uh, you will convert the bore into something unique to your face. This morning, I'm loading up on some mahogany from Ginger's Garden. Plenty of load there. Into my bowl for the three steps, froth, broth, and then leather. I just beat the crap out of it in no real sensical way until it sticks pretty much to the side of my bowl. And then it's ready. So once it's, you know, it hangs on, it's ready. Mahog this mahogany is a vegan soap from Ginger's Garden. Highly recommend it. It goes very well, which I'll pair today with today's um, uh, suede balm. Just for the scent. Love the suede balm. Need to find a way to get some suede aftershave. We've got crappy rules on what you can send. Unless someone's prepared to lie their face off on a declarations form in Australia. That's pretty good. Well, I'm happy with that. Here we go. Get a bit of water. It's got a blade in it. Second use on this blade. Look at the... Let me come around here. Let me show you the width. That it will do in one go. Two swipes, it's done one half of my face. This side is two days growth here, mostly because the first time I used it, I was so baby butt smooth, I really didn't need to shave the next day. Like a lot of people, the spot that I'm the most sensitive on is just here because the skin's soft, and you see the way it will easily. Add some more water to my face. First pass, took off a lot of hair. You just dip it in the water and give it a vigorous shake. And that quickly cleans those channels, keeping your blade clear and cutting. There are a lot of single edge razors coming to market. The reason I like this one, even in its plastic form, which is very light, is the amount of cutting it does with an incredibly smooth feeling it wipes hair from your face Francois who's been working on the Falcon now for well over a year has gone through about three changes from the original one that came out and it's still undergoing slight modding as people test out the 3D printed versions he's done. That is a socially acceptable shave with just a bit of beard reduction left for BBS under here. Very close on the cheeks. I have to do this area too. Now if questions are, when is it gonna be released? No idea. Uh, what cost? No idea. Materials. No idea, but it's been designed to be CNC'd, so probably stainless steel. 
Although an aluminium head is possible. But material wise, wow, the ability to go for one whole pass. So wide on your face, so even. This is why my last shave with this lasted me two days. You can be really quick with this because it does such a wide amount in one go. Clean up. Be right back. When you're done, rinse out. Particularly a ball. A ball will take a lot of mistreatment. And when you're done, drop it in a receptacle to dry and that will keep it looking nice. Now a little bit of fires. Clean up my skin, close my pores. Wow, that's smooth. All right, zero burn. I like that. No cuts, no weepers. Bit of suede. Love, love, love the scent of this suede. Got an order going in soon to Ginger's. Um, if you use Ginger's Garden and you use some of the other scents besides the mahogany and the suede, which I have, uh, can you tell me which ones you prefer? Particularly if you've tried. Um, a wide gamut of her offerings in the men's um, aftershaves, balms and uh, soaps because I think I'll grab a couple more most recommended to me in the comments. So post down below. Right, without a word of a lie, my face feels absolutely fantastic. It is tingly with good shave goodness. It is as close as anything else I've used. I have another single edge. Here it is. Here's the Mongoose. Let's compare the two, the mongoose and the falcon. The mongoose has a very narrow edge which holds the blade and it doesn't quite cover the edge when the blade's in there. So, I love this. It does an excellent job. This is slightly different. It profile wise, it's curved as opposed to angled. Gutters for the Way bigger gutters for the open comb design. To be honest, it kind of, it dwarfs. It looks bigger, it feels bigger. Machined out of metal, this is gonna feel much more significant than, well, this is the aluminium version anyway. This is a fantastic shaver, $99. I'm not gonna change my mind about this, I love it. I just like seeing innovation. And this one has it in spades. It is not as aggressive as the R41. And the channel design on here, if you can see it in profile, is more open cone. This has been redesigned for smoothness and closeness. You get close. Now there's a bunch of new open combs. I still highly recommend the good old $100 mongoose, but there are some others. The Colonial will be shipping soon in August. You have the new one from above the tie. You have um, one's coming from a team barber and that one looks really cheap. I'm not too sure about the design But the single edge blade in these the feather, feather artist blades in these are incredible That's an injected dispenser, and that's a feather artist. Right. This is okay. It will shave But it's not as exciting. It's not as wide a swipe. It doesn't get as close as evenly head wise There we go head wise you're shaving with about 50% more blade. That's a lot of blade, it's twice the width. It just makes a difference for smoothness when you're shaving. Hopefully, Francois of Falcon Razors, go check his blog in the next week. He'll be updating it with more plans. He's just finishing his uni exams. Uh, I am a big fan of this. I have been since I first seen it. I love open combs. I love the design. I even like it as it shaves in plastic. Amazing what 3D printing. The only problem, and here, it has a, the metal um, screw already in it. The only problem is being plastic, the handle doesn't tend to stay real tight. If it was metal, I could just screw it that bit harder in. And being plastic, I'm not gonna screw hard because I just pull the um, metal thread straight out of the plastic. So you have to be gentle. So don't think that 3D printed razor heads are a good idea. Uh, not gonna happen. Uh, they're good for testing, fantastic for testing, but they're not a solution for um, production. Pictures, of course, I've got it sitting on my favorite handle. Uh, I was thinking about painting it up, making it nice and shiny, or just rubbing it back and making it shiny, 
or painting it. Mm. Just because I might be using this for a while before I can buy the real thing. Fantastic though. These are all good razors. Some are better than others. The two that I think are going to be the closest is here. This is one of those occasions where uh, the shorter blade does not hamper the design of the feather because it has the tilting head. So I will have to do these head to head. It's still going to need two swipes where this one's only ever going to need one. So if you like baby butt smooth quick shaves, congrats to Francois for sticking with it this far. One of the Feather Artist razors is going to be the way to go. I'm Stevie Daly Shaver, giving you the first look, wishing you all the best of shaves. Good shaves and goodbye. Beard of man, you think that you're so cool. But your face looks like a small marsupial.